Hi everybody, we're here at Bailey on a tasting room and um, we're doing a little throwback tasting to our 2018 Halcon Rojo Pinot Noir and I have Rob here and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Hello, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Amanda had asked that we taste the 18 alongside with the 2020 Halcon Rojo. So I think one of the things that's important to understand is that um, you know every vintage we try to have the same consistency as far as the flavor and the wine styles of the Halcombe Rojo. Typically, it's a little bit more lighter. It's more fruit driven, more brighter red fruits. Um, the 2018 definitely is showing um, those bright red fruits. You get a lot of uh, the acidity that the Edna Valley, the cool climate offers um, to help preserve this wine. So this wine definitely can sit down and be laid down for a few more years for sure. You can still taste some of that tan structure even though it's, it's more uh, lignified, it's a lot more uh, silkier now. It will just get even better as it ages. But what's important to understand though is that uh, this wine was made in the style to where that acidity, that natural acidity that we get in the Central Coast or in the Edna Valley, the cool climate in the Valley, is really going to help preserve the wine compared to the 2020 it's the same thing that the biggest well there's a lot of differences the fruit sourcing is a lot different in the 2018 the majority the all the fruit came from our um, estate uh, vineyard which is now called davenport it's a hillside vineyard um a hillside blocks block 172 174 and it's, it's a 667 clone whereas the 2020 um we source this fruit from a vineyard that's a little bit further down uh, the end of the valley it's a little bit warmer in that area but also um, another 10 percent of this fruit is coming from a really cool site called spanish springs the green gate's a pomar clone and the and the spanish springs uh, pinot noir is a triple seven uh, clone up on the hillside and uh with this you know with this in mind it, it, we still want to strive to have some of that natural acidity to preserve the wine have a little bit more lift in fruit the biggest difference I feel though is that the uh, the oak integration in the 2020 um, is giving more of a concentrated um, more of the concentrated sugar oaks I would say as opposed to just the oak itself. Um, so you get a little more caramel, you get a little bit more girth and a little more mouthfeel in the wine. Um, and there's a lot of layers in the 2020. You have you know there's just a lot going on in that wine. So I would imagine that when this Halcombe Rojo from 2020 starts to to age, much in the same way as the 2018, a lot of those layers in the 2020 is going to kind of bind together, much like what the 2018 is doing right now. So a lot of those layers are kind of coming back in together and starting to form this one just beautiful one that 2018 is showing, which is some nice bright red fruits, um, some really nice acidity. The 2020 has all these different layers going on with it. Hopefully, in a few few more years, um, those flavors will all start to unify and um, make for you know an amazing wine as well too awesome so i would suggest trying both of them because the 2018 is a really great throwback and like you said it's a little bit more linear of that classic pinot um, with a little bit of spice and some of those bright fruit notes but the acidity is still preserving it really well and then the 2020 is a totally not totally different but a really fun comparison so thanks for joining us